Dear students, welcome to the classroom. In previous video, we have learned the definition of the internet and uses of the internet. In this video, we will see the internet terminology. The first one is network. Dear students, network is a group of computers which are connected to each other for communicating and sharing resources. There are two kinds of networks, local area network and wide area network. Local Area Network LAN Local Area Network connects computers within one building. Computers in LAN are usually connected with cables. Wide Area Network WAN Wide Area Network connects computers over long distance. Computers in WAN are usually connected by telephone lines or broadband. The internet is a WAN. World Wide Web WWW It is a collection of all websites on the internet. The third one is Search Engine. Dear students, it is a site on the internet with the help of which a user can search for other websites. A user can search the web on the basis of the keywords he gives. Google is one of the most popular search engines. Getting Connected to the Internet Dear students, all modern computers and laptops are capable of connecting to the internet. To get connected to the internet, you need a computer running Windows, an account with an internet service provider, ISP. Your ISP is a link between your computer and the internet. There are three ways of getting connected to the internet. Number one is modem. Dear students, you can connect to the internet using a modem. A modem is an electronic device that connects your PC to a telephone line to enable you to use the internet. This is known as dial-up connection. Though it is cheap, it is very slow. The second one is broadband connection. Dear students, the most popular way is to have your telephone line converted to broadband so that you can use the telephone for calls and for the internet at the same time. The third one is mobile internet. Dear students, if you don't have a landline or if you want to use the internet when you are out, you can use mobile internet from any mobile network provider. This can be used anywhere where there is a mobile signal, but it can be slower and more expensive than broadband through a landline. You can also get connected to the internet using a direct or dedicated connection. You do not need an individual modem for your computer and you need not dial to connect to the internet. The computer is always connected to the internet. This method is expensive and so only large organizations are use it. World Wide Web WWW Dear students, World Wide Web or WWW is a collection of all the websites on the internet. All these websites are linked to one another to form a global web of information. Number one is Web Browser, a program for getting connected to WWW and viewing any information on it. Microsoft Internet Explorer is a web browser. The next one is Web Server. A program or a computer that stores all websites. Website A collection of web pages linked to one another. Web page A single page of information on a website. It could be text, images, sound, video clips. Home page The first page of a website. Hyperlink A web address on a web page. It is a shortcut to another web page. It could be an image or text. URL Universal Resource Locator It is the address of a website on the internet. HTML Hypertext Markup Language It is the standard coding language used for creating web pages. It is a set of markup codes or symbols that tells the browser how to display a web page. Each markup code is called an element or a tag. So dear students, in this video, we have learned the internet terminology and some basic information about internet. 
so watch the video carefully to understand the lesson